Hi guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous day here in the end times in the former paradise of South Austin, Texas on this absolutely gorgeous Sunday morning, November 26, 2017, somewhere around there. <coughs> Afraid I don't have time for a doomsday sermon before I head off to the Christmas tree lot for day three of selling Christmas trees to lovable, clueless morons at the Optimus mm. Club. We are the friend of youth at the Optimus Club, but I do have time to share with you today's comment of the day. I think we actually have two or three comments. So let me remove the veil of optimism and look at our comments of the day. <clears throat> First, we're going to check in with Greg Morris. Take it away, Greg Morris. What do you have to say about how you are reacting to the ocean of clueless morons you're dealing with every day? Okay, Greg. <clears throat> Quote, I'm not scared or worried past that. Not depressed like I used to be either, or not nearly as much. Not angry and pissed and outraged. Not sure what I feel anymore. Numb. Completely fucking mentally numb. I simply stumble through life at this point, trying to keep hold of my belief in decency. That, perhaps at least with family and relationships, I can keep some aspect of something to hold on to. Something real in this plastic, corrupt lie of a society that is clearly coming to an end. It hurts to even listen to folks in this valley much these days. They stop by, shoot the shit, and spew ignorance and dribble, supposed to show how much they know <clears throat> and what free-thinking great Americans they are. Most playing the part of the uneducated working class hero shtick, using it to justify their hideous worldviews that lock them further into their roles as clueless fucking loyal plastic morons. I listen, dismiss them as soon as possible without being rude. They leave my head hurts. My mental state takes a hit. I heal up. And then they return to keep the cycle repeating. Life is great when they are out of sight and out of mind and out of earshot. <clears throat> Not so much when they stop by again to see it to say hello and uh, so far Greg has five thumbs up so AS hole AS hole weighing in on Greg's comment <clears throat> I feel the same I am essentially mute in public every time I strike up a conversation with people I hear things I would not have heard a coherent mind express 10 years ago, <clears throat> even if they felt that way. They were at least too self-aware and embarrassed to give the impression that they were genuinely that stupid. <clears throat> I just have to realize that this too is just a symptom of collapse. While you become numb, others turn dumb. It's all adaptation 
to buffer the impact of what is approaching. And then Fiesta Cranberry gets right to the point. Hell truly is other people. I can't remember whose quote was that. Fiesta, was that W.C. Fields or H.L. Menekin or Mark Twain? Who did say hell truly is other people? And all I have to say to Greg, A.S. and Fiesta is try spending five minutes working on a Christmas tree lot at the Optimist Club. You have no idea. And with that, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to wrap up today's comment of the day. Got to take the little dog through the plastic strewn garbage pit of the green belt here in the former paradise of South Austin, Texas. And <clears throat> head off to the Christmas tree lot. Do I have time for a sermon? Anyway, if I don't get a sermon in this morning before I leave... I will be back tonight with my uh, with some form of a doomsday sermon, and we're going to check in with our weekly roundup from View from Zombie Island, but it might be a few hours because I have to return to the pit. The pit. Of existential hell. Bye, guys.